Hello, every. <clears throat> Why do I always do that? Yeah, but I've been really ill and I'm very phlegmy at the moment. I actually Please don't go on about how ill you are because you always do that. Oh, sorry. I'm really healthy then. Health 100. Have you it yet? Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> that, can we can just keep all that in. <laughs> Welcome back to yet another episode of Chloe versus the world. And I have brought back, in honour of me missing Mother's Day, I thought we could spend some quality time and I could use you to make a bit of cash from the old podcast. It's my mum! Yay! 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 Scraping the barrel again. Scraping the barrel. No guests. <laughs> Soz. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We have loads of guests coming on this week, but I thought, not this week though. Yeah, I do. I've literally recording for this week. Yeah, so you've made it to the fucking cut as well, woman. Welcome back. Thanks. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. I didn't spend it with yours in Milan. Yes. What did you do? I did. I emptied the dishwasher. Woo! I put a wash in. Yeah. Mopped the floor. Did a bit of work. Felt sorry for myself for three and a half hours. Oh, did you actually feel sorry? For, what did you have? I sent you a fucking nice. No, it's nice. Hey. No, I had loads of flowers. Oh, um, too many flowers. Wait for Nick to get up. Nick got up at five. No, it was later. And he went, you never guess what's happened. What? And I went, well, it goes, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is my if, little brother. If this is a lie, it's genius, right? <laughs> he said, I ordered you a card. From um, Moonpig, but they cancelled it. And I went, oh, did they? Moonpig. And he went, yeah. And he said, because he put two mum, world's greatest mum, whatever, and he put from your fave son. Oh. And anyway, I don't think I can stop. What, they they thought it? they thought he said something else. But anyway, they cancelled his order. Cancelled his order yeah. for profanity. I, but yeah, I've written a card profanity. to Millie before and I put loads of swear words in it. I think I called her a C word. No. Yeah, so I don't think that's true. In a card? Yeah, in a card. Nice. Right. Did my, your other kids get you anything? Uh, yes, they did. I got t other flowers as well. What is that what you would want? Because yeah. you, oh, what do you want? Shoes. Last year you said to me, no one sent you flowers or a card, so I fucking bought you flowers and a little card. Shoes. Oh, right. <laughs> Handbag. Uh, I pills. buy you handbags and you don't fucking wear them. What bag have you got today? Not one I've bought that's you. One, yeah, that's 10 quid from Spain. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I literally buy you. No, I did. I do wear that one all the time. Uh, what Does else? anyone believe that? I do. That one, that Mark Jacobs. Yeah, I've got it, you Mark cops. Jacobs. I've got you Coach. I've got you Coats. Vivian Westwood. Yeah, I do. Don't I? Don't Not... I? There yeah. you go. Don't heckle. And I've bought you Coats. Is that the one I bought you? No, Max Mara coats. No. You don't like expensive that one, things. I, that one, uh, I, that brown one I wear a lot, don't I? Yeah, Rich. I do wear them. Okay. I go out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, £10 yeah. Prada. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, so that. next Mother's Day I'll get you. Well, what then? Fillers. Oh, fillers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's a good present. Neck sculpting. That that injection to get rid of fat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> get it for you. <laughs> I don't know if we can put so that all, in there. All of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No bags and coats then, just pure yeah. procedure. Excessics. Yeah. Okay, cool. Fair enough. That would be tremendous. Yeah. Because you've had your boobs done, so have I. Do you want to talk about that? No, I feel like it's a good topic to talk about. I'll talk about my. I'll talk about anything you want. Ooh, good guest alert. Yeah, I talk about. <laughs> I talk about anything you want, but yeah. sometimes I would like to pick the topic. Oh, you talk about them. What boot? No, I mean not that topic. Any other? Okay, one. well we've got topics for oh, you. <laughs> those are the topics. Okay. Right. Have you been watching Celebrity Big Brother? Yes, it's been on. I have. Yeah, I have. What do you think? I think that not. Uh, I thought that. That guy, oh, I've actually not watched it. I've, uh, watched, things, I've watched bits, so I haven't yeah. watched the whole thing. So I thought that Princess of Wales' uncle going on was outrageous. Do you? Yeah. Because yeah. um, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I keep up with, you know, all of pop culture and, you know, the royal family. I hadn't heard of him and he, no. he felt very, you know, burdened by this villain character. What's he supposed to have done? Nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, celebrity, how do you know, define a celebrity, I suppose it's very different to, you know, 20 years ago with the internet and that. 
So maybe if your name's appeared, you know, in the social media or the press, you're a celeb now, which is fine. Work for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he, but he isn't, is he? Because he, he, I don't think just because you've got a famous a relative, you're a celebrity. I don't know, though, because say if my dad was, you know, a famous old man, can't think of any. Who's a famous old man? Richard Attenborough. Is he dead? David Attenborough. And his brother's dead. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, David Attenborough, he's old. <laughs> yeah, if my dad was David Attenborough, yeah. I would be famous, no? Well, you, you, could, you could try to be famous. Yeah, I could, could give it a good old go. Um, but, yeah, who else is on there? Sharon Osbourne. Yeah, who's Sharon Osbourne, who's not actually... Yeah. What? I just think she's marvellous, I really do. I do you? I, I feel like... I like her. Do you know what I think? I think her and Louis aren't aware that they're being filmed 24-7. No, or they just not. don't give a shit. But Louis keeps hiding his microphone as oh, right. if they're not going to fucking yeah. hear you. What the yeah. heck? Yeah. Um, I, I like her because she's clever. So when she's being horrible about someone, mm. she does it in quite an intelligent way that you're interested. You know, she's very good at slagging people off, but she does it in quite <laughs> an intelligent way. Yeah. You know, not just not just... Doing the dirty on someone. She actually has quite a good story to tell. Yeah. Oh, why. yeah. She has a lot of, yeah. like, the Simon Cowell thing. Yeah. I wonder if he saw that and was like, oh, fuck, cares. fuck, fuck. Do you think he doesn't care? Of course he doesn't care. Why he doesn't he, care. Well, he's got more money than he could. Why would he care about that? Well, you know, no one wants to be slagged off on TV. Mm. Well, maybe he doesn't care. I Do you want to know a mad him? fact about how much money Simon Cowell's got? Yeah, I'd love to know. Apparently... Allegedly. Allegedly, get that word in there. Allegedly, he plays um, like one note of an instrument on every song that has ever been produced under his record label. So he gets royalties for every single song as well as the money for being a producer. No way. Which is like no millions way. and millions. Stop it. Didn't That's so... Billions. 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 Yeah. Let's cut how much is his net worth. Yeah. Let's Google that quickly. Yeah, so I don't suppose he... Really cares what Sharon Osbourne. You know someone who worked with him. Yes, I do. Claim to fame. It was uh, my best. Three hundred and eighty-five million. That was in two thousand and nineteen. All oh, right. Okay. Oh well, not that much. <laughs> and he's a vegan. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. He'd yeah. be writing a. I set like him. Yeah, do you? I do like him. I like him a lot. The face. Yeah. Memory. I mean, listen. I'm, we're all for aesthetics. No, but. But Ooh, not the look, best picture that one. Not, not when you do. Do you know what? Like, eyes. do you know what though? How old is he? Because I, I would guess forty nine. No, God, no, he's older than no, me. No, but Surely. you know he's older than that. But if you didn't know how old he was, you oh, would think right. he's not that old. I would. He's sixty four. Looks fucking yes. great. Looks great. No, I would think he's a sixty four year old man who's had a lot of surgery. Yeah, because I mean, uh, ooh, that's no, that's good. <laughs> that that's a long time ago. Yeah. It doesn't look like that anymore. Do you know what, though? I think the more you see yourself on screens and that, you go and get yeah. fucking work done. I actually saw a tweet about myself the other day, and it was like um, saying how I went on Love Island and I now obviously look nothing fucking like that. Well, guess what? I can afford Billa, you know? So I think I look different. And I... You know, didn't have eyelash extensions. So he's got shit loads of money. Imagine the work that he could get done. Mm. He could be getting a facelift. What? But it seems that everybody gets their lips done. Yeah. Why not? And I remember, I hope my sister's not watching this, <laughs> right? I don't when, think she's an avid listener. I think she might. Oh. But, um, I remember when Leslie and I were little, Leslie had big lips. Yeah. And I used to think, oh, thank God I haven't got big lips really? like that. And, yeah. And and I think she, yeah, she had quite big lips. Yeah. And I mean, she was ever so pretty and everything, obviously. But but now they're so in fashion, aren't they? These big, big yeah. lips. Well, Millie's Plump. had hers all dissolved. Yeah. yeah but got, I think she got a little bit of a top up. I didn't used to think I had small lips, but I had never watched myself back i only saw my mirror reference or selfie reference with um filters and i noticed number one when i speak obviously 
your lips look smaller because obviously you're speaking. And number two, I speak out of one side of my mouth. Yeah. Do you do that? I haven't seen it. No, but I've noticed that when <laughs> I took this picture of myself once, for, it was for a really boring magazine. It was nothing flash right. And it had, I, took, I got Nick to take it. What are you taking pictures of yourself for a magazine it, for? Are you it, selling it was, stories? No, it was, it was, um, it, it was for my work. Oh, I, okay, right, right, right. right. Bo- really boring. And it was a piece about me, which was very boring. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I got Nick to take, try and take a picture of me looking businesslike at home, <laughs> right? So I put my businesslike dress on. And I did <laughs> that. And Nick said, oh, hurry up and everything. And I took this picture. And I, my, my smile is only here. Yeah. Rather than all here. And I thought, God, yeah. I've been doing that I'm all not my life. I'm with you. But like, <laughs> now I'm, when you look back at yeah. yourself, like I smile and I show every teeth and I look like I'm in pain. I go, that's yeah. not cute. But if you smile, like when you're laughing, like, ha ha, no, that's horrid. But I, the thing is, the thing is that when, um, when you reach, I don't know if this is all women, but it's certainly me and most of the women I know. Once you reach a certain age, yeah. That looking in the mirror thing is is not pleasant. Oh, so is it no, not? No, it's not. So I, so you do it as little as possible. No, really. Yeah, I, it, mm. yeah. It, well, okay, <laughs> an hour a day. No, I don't know why my It's an saying. hour a day. An hour a day. It's gone down. And I don't wear my glasses either. Yeah, it's gone down. Yeah. And when I go close up, I think, oh, God, <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's horrible. Oh. Uh, it's really depressing. I'm not, I'm not going to grow old gracefully. What's the point? No, don't. Uh, don't. I could look this it's age depre- forever. All those um, people have started saying, I don't know whether it's because I keep talking about my age, but people are like, mm, she is looking a bit fucking old. So what work can I get done next? Um, to not look old. Yeah. I might buy a gua sha and see if I can do it myself. So, you know, notice I've got these big smile lines. A gua sha? <laughs> What's that? A what? A gua sha. What's that? It's like this thing. It's I think it's rose quartz marble, and you scrape it on your face. You do your oils. Not that, that I do. Work. That's it. Gua sha, and you do it on your face, and it gives you cheekbone. Oh, it won't. I'm good. I'm happy to try it for a bit. I that I don't. Do you know? I don't think. Um, these women spend thousands, don't they, on cream? I think they're about seven like quid, those guys. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Imagine <laughs> seven quid and suddenly you look 15. What? <laughs> it's doubtful, isn't well, it? look at that before and Yeah, after. look at that. Yeah, yeah, that's believable, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, can I be bothered? Sometimes, I mean, a lot of the time, not a lot of the time, sometimes I don't even take my fucking no, makeup off. that's the thing as well, and you've got to be doing all that. It's not, you, you don't just go like that and suddenly it's mm. well, you've got to do it for, for three weeks. Yeah, no, no, it's not instant. It's, you yeah. know, a lot. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. So, Mum, I brought you here today to a personality test with me. Um, I saw this thing on Twitter, and I fucking I can get down with it. Basically, there's been a survey, and apparently, the UK is the second most un- miserable, unhappy place to live in the world. So, we could do something good to find out a bit more about our personalities, because you know, are we miserable? We're not. What What's the most miserable place? No, well, where is it? Is it Uzbekistan? Yeah, it's the most miserable. And we're number two. Really? Yeah, because apparently the way our like infrastructure and everything's set up is literally to just beat us down, beat us down. Put that, you know, with rain, potholes, mm. you know. I, yeah, I, I just hate this country. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I th- I'm miserable when the weather's crap. Yeah, but Where, yeah, yeah, in the sun it is a bit better because we've got really good pub gardens. Yeah, or you can just be in your own garden. I, I think the sun makes everybody happier. Yeah. Right, so how right. does this work then? We're going to answer these questions. Okay. okay. Mm. What is your favourite animal in the world? Mine's probably a dog. Animal. Mm, it's not a strenuous it's, question. It's a dog. <laughs> is it not? No, just answer your favourite animal. It's a dog. It's a dog as mm. well. Okay. What's your second favourite animal in the world? Just answer the questions horse. like remember them. Remember your answers. Horse. Is it a horse? Yeah, I was going to say dolphin. No. I don't know why. I adopted one once for two pound a month for rainbow. I hope you're still out there. Yeah. Right. When you think of the ocean, what do you think of? The Titanic. Which waves. Waves. Okay. 
When you think of darkness, what do you think of? Ghosts. Like peril and horror. Ghosts. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 it means we're so bloody miserable sad oh my gosh okay so what's my favorite animal is allegedly how i perceive myself so we're dogs. a dog an old dog <laughs> actually it's true that is exactly how i perceive myself i yeah i would say i'm a bit like a jack russell uh, i wouldn't say i'm a bad dog but I, I like nice little dogs, so if that's me, then fine, I'm all right with that. Yeah, I think, yeah, because dogs like to be, you know, petted, not in the, a rude way. <laughs> Can I Heavy just... Heavy petted. I don't, actually, I don't even really like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they like, you know, I like to be fed, I like to be yeah, walked, I like to be fed. you know, I like to don't. do things with someone. Yeah, because they're like a companion. I don't like being on my own because otherwise I would have said a can. I don't like cats. But I think probably 80% of the world would say dog. No, because Nicole would say cat. All right. That's and that's weird. 20%. Okay, so the next one. This is how you perceive your partner. Sorry, so Rich. Yours is a you're horse. a horse. What does that even mean? Horse. <laughs> I said dolphin. I mean, I've not even got a partner. So. <laughs> we, you need to look for a nice dolphin. <laughs> You've been looking in all the wrong places. <laughs> what does a horse. horse mean? Like big? Yeah, rich as tall. Yeah. What, what like else? to be whipped. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. Eject to see. Eject to see. Yeah, what else would I say about a horse? Likes to be ridden. <laughs> Well, that's it, isn't it? I was sexual then, that one. Ooh. Um, Ooh. I li well, I was thinking I like horses because you can ride them. Ugh, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Oh, right. You know, you can groom them because you do cut groom his hair. Them. You do cut his hair. I do cut his hair. And you can put them in shows no, and win money. No, it does, actually. That's it. He has to be groomed. <laughs> I want to <laughs> leave. <laughs> Oh, well, right. that's how you perceive love what was the next oh the ocean no waves what was it? waves I no was it the ocean oh, oh. waves what did i say dolphin <laughs> you said the titanic dolphin, dolphin. You... i said dolphin, the dolphin, titanic dolphin. oh my god it's a big titanic. fat monstrous disaster oh god no mine's like waves up and down up, up and, and down, down but always up and down on the horse oh fuck off <laughs> Oh, God. It's not making sense. Oh, mine was just a big, fat, catastrophic disaster with death God. ending. So that, oh. was, that was your next one? No, Titanic oh, is... was love. Look, that's how you perceive death. Ghosts. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. This is all true about me. It's, it's, it's all just like somebody knows me. Yeah. I don't know if it's true about me. Well, death, I said peril and horror. I'm going, you know, that's... Is that how you perceive death? I don't really think about death too much, but when I do, it does scare me a bit, yeah. God, I, I do think ghosts. Yeah, you believe in ghosts. Sort of. No, um, mm, not... Sh mm, mm, mm. Well, the bit... Uh, no, I don't, <laughs> actually. I don't. The problem with ghosts, right? The problem, <laughs> the, problem the biggest problem I find <laughs> with ghosts is that nobody has ever, ever proven a ghost. And you watch. Have and they I'm, not, though? No because... one. Never. Mm. Ever, ever, ever. Well, do you want to know something on the topic of ghosts? We can get to aliens. Yes. And apparently they're hiding them. They've seen them, they've hidden them, and they've got them. I believe that. Well, why don't you believe in ghosts then? They're similar. Because I think people have, I have seen more evidence that I think that could be a UFO than I've ever seen about a ghost. That's true. Especially right. if you watch. She's keeping tabs on that. If you watch, um, what is it, Amazon Prime. <laughs> what do you mean if you watch Amazon Prime? Well, they've just got UFO programs. Oh, do that. Yeah, loads, that's your algorithm loads feeding of evidence. it to you. Loads Mine's on just all reality TV. Um Oh, so that's how that's us then. I'm a dog with a dolphin boyfriend, except they don't exist. Um, love is Titanic and death is horrible. You also are a dog who likes sex a lot. No. No. 
No. Too old for that. And love is wave, so up and downs. Yes. But all, waves are just eternal. There's always going to be waves. Yes. So that's quite nice, isn't yes. it? And then death is ghosts. Ghosts. That's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, no, it's bad. Right, next bit. <laughs> Okay, how strict are you as a parent? I How... wasn't. You weren't strict at all. No. no. You weren't strict. Because, you know, like, if you had a parent, you know, if you wanted a friend to stay over, I'd ask you yeah. and then get you to ask dad because yeah. dad was so fucking strict. <laughs> so I, No, strict. I think I, I've been way too liberal for my own good. It's come back to bite me on the arm. Why? What's wrong with me? Well, no, you, you're right. Yeah, uh, you went through patches. What do you mean? No, it hasn't come back to bite me on the arm. Yeah, but I, like... I think I was too liberal at times and probably. But then I say that and I beat myself up a bit and oh. think, oh, you should have done this. But actually, why? Because you're all okay, really. Ooh, that wasn't convincing, was it? <laughs> well, uh, there are there are four. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, are they? are they? Did I ever lie to you about anything? Yeah, did oh I lie god, to, yeah, yeah, I love lying. Yeah, Good. Uh, most things. I lied so much when I was a kid. Right, this is when yeah. I was really, really young. But I now I've read loads about ADHD. Like yeah. ADHD kids just lie compulsively. Yeah. I lied so much yeah. to my mum when I was a kid. I told my mum because I'd got Mary in the nativity. All right, mm -hmm. Charlie and you were big, about six. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's big news. Yeah. I was like, Mum, I'm Mary. And yeah. she was like, you're fucking not. I, well, I said, didn't no, believe it. I didn't believe it. I said, stop lying. <laughs> I said, you are a shepherd. Now get lost. Yeah, off. come on. And we went and um, she was right in the middle as Mary with the Mary <laughs> little thing on. And she went, told you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I did this thing. I don't know if I spoke about it on the pop of a maybe I had where I, I had zoned out. I was stood by my mum's car and I'd zoned out, was concentrating on something. And what I'd done without even fucking realising, picked up yeah. a giant rock yes. and I'd drawn the... I don't know if this is like psychopath behaviour. I'd drawn on my mum's brand new car the numbers 1 to 11, just yeah. etched them in mm -hmm. massively. Mm. And by the time I'd done it, I'd, I'd realised what I was doing and I was like, oh, fuck! Yeah. Dropped on the floor and obviously he didn't tell anyone and I just let my brother, the neighbours, they all took the blame. No, you said, you said um, <laughs> no, this is what happened. It wasn't funny at the time because I thought Max had done it because yeah. he was so naughty. My brother. So he got, you didn't get in trouble at all no. and he got in massive trouble and I said, right, come in here. I said, um, who has done that? In other words, <laughs> you've done that. And he went, <laughs> and I bleep thought, the name, bleep the name. All right, okay, he went so and so and I said to Max, I am ringing his mum now. And he went, uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. So I I went, it, we went for about a week thinking Max had done this and he was getting the bollockings from hell for doing it. And he was just taking on the chin. <laughs> um, and then we went off somewhere with Borton Auntie. Borton on the water. Went to Borton on the water. Yeah. And you said to me, mummy, um, we were, we were just going and you went, Mum, can you come back with me and come to the toilet? I need a wee. Why do I sound like such a loser? That's, that's what you sounded like. It was so just bad. like that. What's so we went then? for a wee and you went, um, you went, uh, you're on the toilet. And you went, um, and I thought, what's she doing? And you were going, <laughs> um, uh, and I thought, she's got something to tell me. But you didn't. I'd right? You didn't. Crime. We got home and I was thinking about it and I looked at it 1 to 11 and the 7 was crossed. Yeah, and I said to Max and Chloe, seven. you did. I said, see cunning. I said to oh, Chloe, you're cunning, I said to, uh, yeah, I said to Chloe Max, sit down, write the number 7. And you crossed it and he didn't. So I thought, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So I said to your dad, right. It's her. It's Chloe. So I said, right, <laughs> you, you be bad cop, I'll be good cop. Yeah, because right? that's just the way it was. Yeah, so he could not be No, I, I, you, I said, you go and bollock her, mm. right? Then I'll bollock her, but be really nice, right? He went, okay. So he went upstairs and bollocked you, right? Bridget. And then I went upstairs and really bollocked <laughs> him! <laughs> I was fucked then. I was actually yeah, fucked. He was double cock. Yeah. But, oh no, double, double cock. cock. <laughs> double cock. Double cock. Sorry. Cut. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't double cock. It was double, double bad cop. cop. Double bad cop. Yes. That's what it was. Well, thanks for that. Well, I never did it again. There you go. No. Yes, well, that you was. Probably good. told a tip again. 
What was I like growing up well behaved? I said I was all right. What do you think? Uh, growing up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was when I got to, when I stopped playing football and I started going out on the weekends, I yeah. started to be bad. Not bad. Not yeah. Really. Well, I suppose a lot of it actually didn't let you know what I was up no, to. I didn't know. Why would you fucking do that? No. And then I think my, my, I think the stressful, I mean, I'm speaking for you. The most stressful bit for you, bar me going on Love Island, was when um, I had like boyfriends at uni and stuff and I was just in turmoil because I was just so in love and he hated me. That was fun. Yeah, it wasn't badly behaved. No, but that was like stress. There was an occasion which we can't talk about. Yeah, I'm not talking about my <laughs> Where you nearly behavior. got expelled. I still managed to get a fur, so actually. Yeah. I just like them apples. You did. Right. Some TikTok users have been asking their parents how they would have reacted in different scenarios. So, mum, imagine I am a teenager again. Yes. How would you react if I did the following, okay? If I skipped school without telling you, would you give a shit if I was a teenager? No. <laughs> Good start, right? <laughs> what would you do if I threw a party at your house when you'd gone away? No, that, I wouldn't Nothing. like that. No, that I wouldn't like. If if I did not, the thing about yeah, that, no evidence, no evidence yeah. of it, right? But there's always a sticky floor. Yeah. There's always sick up. God, we had this one time, didn't we? And someone punched a yeah. fucking hole in the wall. Couldn't I that party? Yeah. Could I had to and tell no, them? Was. Yeah. What if I failed an exam? <laughs> that would never happen. Uh, now, you see, I was a bit, I was much stricter about educa yeah, education. I mean, you could skip school as long as you failed the exams. And no, that's if you actually don't true. fail the exams. Oh, you can skip school as, as long, long as you fail. No, yeah, I mean, you're going to do it. Do it yeah, properly. Do it. Go big or go home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fairs. I didn't mean that. I meant, um, I meant that uh, I, I definitely wanted you to do well at school. So it, I've never failed an exam in my life. No, and I, uh, I don't think. So driving test. Yeah. I drove think, into a wall. I don't think. Did, I don't think Max or Bridie or Nick have failed an exam. Well done, let's get on you, innit? I know. <laughs> See, this is where school gets you. That's why I let you skip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have I? What would you do if I snuck a boy into the house? And Nothing. You, you wouldn't give a shit about that. I wouldn't. Have, well, you did. I don't think I snuck them in the house. Snucking. Yes, yeah, snucking. <laughs> I think I snuck I would have said, in. stop snucking yeah, but down because there. Because we had quite a big family, there's six of us. Like, you can't sneak. No. You know, and in the middle of the night, someone's going to hear you. Yeah. Did I ever sneak out to a boy's house? No, I didn't do that. You did. Did I? Yeah. Where'd I go? <laughs> no, I did. That's not what happened, oh, Mum. I was. Well, I had a boyfriend. <laughs> Okay, well, okay, we can talk about this. I had a boyfriend, but this was when I was at uni and you and dad split up and you was living in Bista. And I had a boyfriend, but like, I hadn't told mum what I was doing. Basically, I'd sold my car when I was at uni because obviously you don't need it when you're at uni and you need the fucking cash. Um, what had happened was I'd gone back to my ex-boyfriend's house from before uni and I'd woken up and I had no money no way of getting home. I didn't really, I didn't want to walk through town, you know, I've got heels. So I called my mum. <laughs> so I was like 21, <laughs> 20, 20, I was 21. I called mum and I was like, oh, can you come pick me up? She's like, where are you? And I said the street name. <laughs> and it's just been this ongoing <laughs> yes, joke ever yeah. since. Whenever I do something bad, she's always like, That's oh, are you gone. on said street yeah. name? Next one. <laughs> well, yes. Oh, no, number seven, what would you do if she scratched your car? There Bollock you me. Go. The next Bollock you. Double cock. Double cock. <laughs> Double cock. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you're strict at all. No, I was. I was but I always liberal. say you're not really like a mum, mum. You're more like a best best friend. Oh, it's too hard work to be strict. Yeah, it must be boring. God, it must be, it's such hard work. You but if your kid's not that badly behaved, then surely you don't have to be too strict. No, I don't think you do. But you've got to maintain those standards all the time. And yeah. I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. But we we were quite because we were quite close in age. Me and my younger brother. So, and he was naughty. I don't think you mind me saying that. So, if he was being naughty, I could kind of do my little, yeah. little naughty things in peace. Max was incredibly <laughs> naughty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you were that strict. No, I wasn't. No. Okay, we've got a dilemma. Right, good. Dear Chloe, I am a 23-year-old female and I'm planning to move back home when I finish my final year of uni in May. 
I've been with my boyfriend since first year and we've been living together since the start of final year. We're really happy and I love living with him at uni. However, oh, my parents don't like my boyfriend. Right. Oh, shocking. Mm -hmm. At Christmas, my mum took me to one side to share her concerns, which led to an argument between us and my boyfriend. Oh God, my boyfriend found out that none of, <laughs> none of my family like him. Who's, who's written this? Yeah, this I don't have any choice but to move home after uni. My grad job is in London and doesn't pay me enough to move out. What should I do? I love my boyfriend, but won't be able to have him over at my parents since the Christmas argument. Don't know what to do. Has your mum ever hated your boyfriend? Well, fuck me. Yeah. How did you deal with it? Well, number one, I think um, having a boyfriend at 23 that's really, really serious is just not it. Mm. I don't think that's the vibe. Number two, I would say put, well, just, what makes you happy? Mm. But then, you know, are you going to be together forever? Mm. But she's, I? She, <laughs> she's asking you. Yeah. Did you mind? My mum just hated loads of my I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, that um, one. Yeah, before Love Island. It, I, I, would, I wouldn't have hated him. I, I just heard stories about him mm. that I thought were weird. Yeah. I'd like, I wouldn't, I haven't hated anybody's boyfriend because as far as I'm concerned, if they come into my house and speak to me nicely and, mm. and are, you know, all, all the things that you, and nice to my daughter and all those things. Yeah. What is that? There's nothing to hate. Hate is ever such a big word. And I don't know why her mother's doing that. And what she ought to do. Go for the mum now. Is actually, actually talk to the mum. <laughs> yeah. Because hate is a matter of But like, why, why does your mum hate him? Is yes. he really awful? It, find out why. Yeah, why? It? Because and, that is not unprovoked, is it? People no. don't hate people unprovoked. And is your mum seeing red flags that you're not? Yeah. This sort of thing. My mum was really good at it because she wouldn't tell me that she didn't like the boyfriend, but she'd say things like, you noticed how his right ear sticks out a bit. And Ooh. I think, Ugh. I can't dig people out of their right ear. You no, know, she would and things like that. And yeah. just little things that oh, just to made, put you off to put me off. Nice. And it worked. Nice yeah. woman, old darling. So it? I think there. No, I, I think I, I think find your mum. Find out why your mum hates yeah. him. Like there must be a reason. And obviously you're gonna probably not see why she hates him because you've got rose tinted glasses on. But I would say your mum probably knows you a bit better than your boyfriend, so take that in concern. Obviously, you have lived together for a year, so that's peak. Definitely. Has your mum ever made it? The thing is with me, I don't bring, I mean, I just want to say a big fat lie, but I'm re I am normally quite fussy about who I bring home to my mum. I don't like, I, I don't really bring boys around my mum, you know, unless. Oh, I just didn't really used to do that, did I? No. You met my old boyfriends and like before when I didn't live with you. No, mm. when I did live with you, you met them because obviously mm. whatever. But mm. since I've not lived with you, I've only got one home. Because when I was living in London before Love Island, obviously I had two like quite serious boyfriendy people and they never met you. Yes, they did. You did not meet. Oh, them. Who the fuck are you talking about? Sorry, I was talking about. That's why when I get yeah, but I yeah. lived with you. When I've not lived with oh, you, no, I don't bring them home. No, I didn't I didn't meet them. A lot of cutting around this chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really confused. I didn't have them. Um, <laughs> but I think my family's quite a lot to bring into. So unless I think you're gonna swim, if I think you're gonna sink, I just won't bring you home. <laughs> like, I'll just get secondhand embarrassment in the ick if you if you're not funny. Who? You know, I just boyfriend? Like, yeah, because like the person, oh, this is so awesome. say if I didn't think that you would like gel well with my family, but I really liked you, I just, yeah, oh, I don't know, I just didn't bring you around. No, do, you. do you know, that's, that is that is a really big deal. It's such a big deal to bring, it was, it used to do to be, that. No, yeah. it used, I remember it used to be with me, is that you didn't want your boyfriend to show himself up in front of your family. Yeah. Because that's just... You Ooh, want them to think he's as great as yes. you think yeah. they are, yeah. yeah. No, it, and if yeah. I doubted that, obviously before Love Island, I just didn't. You know, the two boyfriends I just didn't didn't bring them, yeah, because I knew it wouldn't have ended well. So with that one, I'd ask your mum and find out why first of all, and try and get to the bottom of the mum because it might be really reasonable. Um, but yeah, shit, don't I really. Agree. It was me, though, and my mum hated it. I mean, now, obviously, I'm older. Like, when I was 23, yeah, and I thought you hated my boyfriend, I wouldn't give a shit. I would just keep seeing him, just not at your house. 
Mm. You know, yeah, <laughs> Bridie. <laughs> no, <you don't>, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the thing, is, no, she's got to talk to her mum because her mum's got a reason. So what are yeah. they? And I'm also, surprised you said she none know. of my family like him. So yeah, three one eight. Yeah. So what? What, what is about? it? What is it? Yeah. And is it the other thing about being a mum? Yeah. In in a situation like that, I imagine, is that you you have to say to yourself, well, is this guy making my daughter happy? Is he looking after her? Or is the mum really overbearing and doesn't like the fact yeah. that maybe the boyfriend's taking her away from him and they've lived together at uni mm. and she probably hates that. And now she's like, yeah, I've got my daughter back. I mean, there's loads of things that could be going on here. Mm. <laughs> but like the thing when we get dilemmas is like, we just need a lot more content. Yeah. But she's got to talk to her mum. <laughs> yeah, talk to your mum. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when I was your age, I wouldn't give a shit. If my mum like my boyfriend or not, this is my boyfriend and I love him. So mm. I'll be seeing him whether you fucking like it or not. Mm. It's just a bit awkward that you can't see each other. Mm. But yeah, that's that. Well, love if, you and love the pod. We'll love she, you. If she too. talks to her mum, she might sort the whole problem out and everybody's okay in the end. Yeah, communication you never know. is key at the end yeah. of the day. It is. Right? Is that the end of the pod? That was a good one, that oh, one. Covered a lot. The end of it. Yes. Yeah, well, unless you've got anything else you want to say. I was going to sing. Go on. Oh, no. Mum used to be Billy Elliot. I don't know if anyone's ever fucking heard that story before, because I have. Billy Elliot. Right. Thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Love you. Ciao.